Okay guys, it's Gina at Eyelash Pro Company again and I wanted to just show you a little something I've been kind of practicing on. These are 0.03 mega volume lashes and I just kind of wanted to show you just a little, it's not really a finger roll, it's kind of a cross between a finger roll and a pinch. But I just wanted to show you just in case you're getting frustrated or discouraged that you know we all have to practice no matter what okay it just takes practice to get good at your craft no matter what it is so I just pick up a little chunk I set it down and I press down and it kind of already starts to open so I just grab with my thumb the base of the fan and I can manipulate it and spread it out a little and I let go okay I'm not happy with that yet so I'm gonna place it back down and I can work with it a little bit more I'm gonna release the tension on my tweezers and I can keep working with it spreading it out the way I want I'm gonna grab a hold again I'm gonna pinch a little bit more so there's just all kind of ways you can do this. Obviously there's a ton of different techniques out there, but I just wanted to show you mainly and try to encourage you. I mean, I just sort of came up with this. I don't know that I actually ever saw anybody do this, but it just sort of, sometimes these things happen by accident almost when you're trying to figure out how to do certain things. So, the thing about this particular technique, if you want to call it that, is that you can work, you can actually work with them quite a while before you're ready to, you know, give up or throw them out when they fall apart. So I'm setting it down. You see there how it spreads out a little bit. I, I'm, I'm actually using my index finger and the tweezers as my kind of my palette to hold it in place. So I'm, and then once I kind of get it where I want it, I'll let go, I'll grab it with my thumb and I'll let go with the tweezers. So then I can kind of grab it again and manipulate. I can pull some kind of crazy lashes off if they're going in another direction. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that and hopefully that might help you or encourage you or give you an idea. See how that's kind of opening up? There we go. And so basically I've got my little 0 0.3 mega volume fan and I would be able to use that. But again, you know, you can play with it. You can spread it apart even more. Now I've gotten the base even better, I think. It's even more narrow. And you can take and um, kind of manipulate and play around with these and tap them on your sticky strip. Sometimes when you have a base that is a little bit more open than you want it to be, slightly sliding it through your glue and releasing the tension very, very slowly and just the tiniest movement on your tension um, will help to allow those bases to come together. But there's a nice little pretty, let's see if I can figure out if I can count one, two, three. That's probably about a 10D um, mega volume fan right there. So I just wanted to let you guys um, know, you know, don't, don't give up. Um, keep trying, keep practicing. That is what this industry is all about, okay? So keep at it, guys. I just wanted to encourage you.